So let's start off with, is Destiny really that bad of a studio? No. There's obviously been a lot of news that has been going around to do with Bungie, the seasonal content format change that they're going to be doing, um, and there's been a lot of other stuff. There was an announcement that they laid off 17%, which is, I think, like 220 plus people got laid off. And then it came out that Luke Smith and uh, another guy, Gary something, I think his name was, or Matt something. I can't fully remember his name. Uh, two people that had a big part to play in this game left Bungie because of the way Bungie is going. And I know a lot of people have this sentiment of, oh, Bungie doesn't listen, Bungie's horrible, Bungie this, Bungie that, but it's not actually Bungie. The way I look at Bungie, Bungie is a whole, uh, you know, obviously a studio with however many hundreds of people that are still working there. Now, if you want to label people, which is the man behind Bungie, he's an asshole, plain and simple. Um, the layoffs, there was an article put out when Sony did the acquisition with them for $3.3 billion, stating that there would be no more layoffs. People wouldn't be losing their jobs and so on and so forth. And we've had two sets, or they've had, sorry, not we, They've had two sets of different layoffs, and this one's pretty big. And the reason why is Pete uh, Patterson, he has a card collection that he spent over $2.2 million doing bids. And in the process of him doing that, he invited some of the Bungie now laid off employees to his house to look at the cars and then laid them off a couple days later. To me, that right there is a shitty thing to do. And then on top of Luke Smith and the other guy leaving who, you know, cared for this game. And a lot of the people that got laid off, you know, were people that fought for wall skating to be kept in the game, that fought for other things to be in the game. Some of them designed it wicked shaders, like the RGB one, that got laid off. All because of this guy's bad habits to the point where, again, Bungie is redoing their content model instead of a yearly, season, or yearly DLC. We're getting two small DLCs with kind of no story or narrative, so the narrative team doesn't need to exist, aka costing them less. And then there's a pile of other stuff. Like, I'll link some articles below. I, myself, find it real fucking shitty that this guy is so just gung-ho on laying people off so he can keep his card collection and the money flow going for him. He doesn't, obviously, he doesn't care for this game. And it's been made loud and clear because a lot of the Bungie employees that got laid off and even others that are still working there are saying that he be they believe he lied to Sony about what he could deliver to Sony. Um, I would love to see one thing. I would love to see Pete Patterson actually get canned. I would love to see Luke Smith and somebody else be, be put in leadership and be put back on. I would love to see all those people that got laid off put back in their jobs and I would love to see Sony step in considering they acquired the damn studio um, and there was rumors that like there wouldn't be them overseeing anything or leadership but come on 3.3 billion and you have no control I don't believe that so I would love to see Sony at this point step in and say like Pete you've tarnished Bungie as a whole You've screwed over hundreds of people for your own benefit of these fucking cars, these luxury cars, and get everybody back. Because again, it's not Bungie that's horrible and giving us a bad game. It's obviously him. He doesn't want to put forth money. He doesn't want to protect people. You know, he cares for his own bottom dollar. And it's... A lot of people are going to say, oh yeah, you know, Bungie sales have been kind of ass and they have been but think about it 
they come from Forsaken and then they come from other DLCs. Like Beyond Light wasn't bad. Witch Queen was, you know, pretty good in my eyes. And then we had Lightfall. Lightfall wasn't bad. It was just the the one narrative and the one character that was overbearing to deal with because we got a wicked subclass from that DLC. However, people are like, oh, uh, Budgie's doing bad. But the thing is, if you bought Lightfall and you found it was kind of, you know, mid DLC or low tier, are you going to buy the final shape? No, probably not. Unless you can get a deal from CD Keys or somewhere else, you ain't you, you probably ain't gonna buy it if you don't care for the story and you've been playing Call of Duty or some other games. And I think that's one of the biggest things that people, you know, seem to to forget. Us who bought the final shape, we loved this DLC. It was it, it was good. There might be nothing to do to a lot of people in the game right now, but as a story and as a narrative. It, it was really good and nobody can say Lightfall was better or Witch Queen was better because in my eyes Final Shape knocked it out the damn park